Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. This is episode 170 of Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, and today we're joined by Miss Emily Beecham, one of the stars of AMC's show, Into the Badlands. We're going to do things a little bit differently today. If you look at your podcast feed or if you join us on the website, you'll see that we actually have two episodes released today, both of them interviews, but yet it's a Thursday. Why are we doing this? Because AMC was kind enough to come to us and say, hey, we would love to get Miss Beecham and Mr. Daniel Wu on the show. Can we make that happen? And of course, as a fan of the show, I said yes. Over the last couple of days, I had a chance to talk to each of them. We're releasing both of these episodes today. And I encourage you to check out episode 171 with Mr. Daniel Wu. And we've got this episode here with Miss Emily Beecham. We separated them out. They're shorter, but we dig kind of deep. And you get a real up-close personal look at both of the stars of one of my favorite TV shows. Ms. Beecham and I did have a little bit of technical difficulty. We tried recording over Skype, and you can hear at the very beginning, I kept part of that conversation, but we ended up having to switch over to a phone call where we finished up. I appreciate her willingness to be flexible, and we had a good talk. So I hope you enjoy it. This is me and Ms. Emily Beecham. Ms. Beecham, how are you? Great. Good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing wonderfully, thank you. I appreciate your time. Our, I know our listeners are really going to enjoy this. Yes, no, you're welcome. It's, yeah, um, it's fun. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, Just trying to find a quiet place. Quite all right. No worries. Running around the flat and is shouting. It. Sorry, I've found a quiet place now. <laughs> Is he? Ah, yes. Um, we, could, we can totally run over if you want, because I feel bad about my connection being so crap. So, you know, I mean... Well, I'm not going to turn that off or to, down. To, 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 yeah, yeah, as long as you need to do this. It's okay. fine, yeah. okay. How much time do you have? Well, I guess let's start there. Uh, well, I can... Um, gosh, I need to keep looking at this schedule, the AMC arranged a schedule. Um, so, but I think you're last on the schedule, so... Um, yeah, I, I, I have a while. So, you know, how, how long was the session anyway? Was it? They like, told me 15 minutes. Oh, 15 minutes. Um, yeah. 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 We could do another, um, uh, yeah. It, it's, it's 15 minutes session. Okay. Cause I have to, I have to leave. Yeah. You, so, you, you have yeah, a life. I, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be in the other side of London at six ish. So sure. Okay. Well, yeah. You know, we'll we'll dig in. We'll we'll do fifteen minutes. I'll okay. I'll watch the clock, and mm-hmm. we can we can wind down gracefully. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. If we talk about your character, the widow, and I'm mm-hmm. gonna I'm gonna guess that most of our listeners have seen Into the Badlands. If they haven't, uh, you should pause this right now, and you should go watch the whole first season because it's amazing. And if it wasn't amazing, <laughs> then we wouldn't do it, be doing this. There wouldn't be a second season, and it's just it's gotten so much acclaim. And Mm -hmm. one of the things that I really dig about the show, of course, is your character and how non-traditional she is. Yes. How do you see her? Uh, Well, she's a very unusual character who likes to challenge the norm. So she's, yeah, she has faced a lot of adversity and for who she is. And for her beliefs and for what she wants to achieve in the Badlands, and she wants to challenge the system. So she's a very uh, brave and strong character, and yeah, that's a really um, interesting uh, role to play. I'm trying to think of really interesting, and you know, most interesting way to go about this. <laughs> so much you could say about her, really. Uh, yeah, she she Yeah, she's a very um she's a very complicated character and she's always making very unpredictable uh decisions. So, uh she's a nonconformist and she's she's sort of an improviser, I guess. Uh Yeah, she's always making unusual moves and uh yeah, she's. Yeah, I think she's a really interesting character to play because she's she's such a challenge to all these other strong roles that are in the show. And yeah, uh, yeah she's a force to be reckoned with. That's a good way to put it—a force to be reckoned with. 
<laughs> and obviously into the badlands is a martial arts show at least that's how i see it and yeah she is a martial arts character i mean just a larger than life figure did the martial arts aspects to the role attract you to it yes absolutely i've never it was the first action or martial arts show i've ever done so it's completely new to the experience so that was really exciting and uh, there were so many elements of the character in the show that were really appealing. It was a really unique show. I thought the whole creative team, because they come from very different, very different, uh, they all have very different styles. And I thought them all put together, you know, Alan Miles and the Hong Kong fight team and uh, the producers um, who made um, a lot of Tarantinos and, and, uh, and Alan Miles, the showrunners, uh, writers of the show, they they um, created Smallville, and then and then the uh, fight team, they <clears throat> they've uh, worked a lot in Hong Kong, doing um, yeah, amazing Hong Kong martial arts movies. So I thought the fusion together would be quite an interesting mix. So um, yeah, so it was all really appealing, and 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 of course the fight training was. Uh, was a really excellent experience and uh, yeah don't get to experience that kind of thing often so yeah the whole thing was a strong pull who's your favorite person to match up against in a fight scene on the show <laughs> we mean in a, in a fight or yeah, yeah because you, you get to work well, with also... a bu- bunch of different characters you know a bunch of different actors yeah well they're really hard to compare though because they're all so completely different i It'd be impossible to compare Marton, who plays um, Quinn, to uh, Ali, who plays Tilda. <laughs> there. But uh, there's also, the widow has so many different relationships with different people, as all the characters do, so many different dynamics. But um, So they're all, you know, really excellent to work with. You know, you know um, yeah, I have really enjoyed. I work a lot with Ali, and I've worked a lot more with Marton this season. Uh, so it's, yeah, they all work in very different ways and it's all been really, really fun. Um, and what was your question? I, uh, <laughs> do you go off on many tangents and then I wonder what, where the truth. Tangents are the foundation of the show. So I'm never going to reel you back. <laughs> you may be used to that in other interviews. I don't do that at all. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, and what was the question? <laughs> yeah. Who's your favorite? Really, and, and maybe maybe you're being political. Maybe you don't want to play favorites. <laughs> or, well, I, I'm I'm not being political. I just I just I find them so different, hard to couldn't really compare them. Who's my favorite? Just character, or in in what sense? Like the well, I I guess I would imagine, you know, as a martial artist, when I get to work with certain people in my training, I am more excited. Are you than talking the about fights? Yeah, who, who yeah. I enjoy fighting with. Well, Ali's great to fight with because she is the same size as me. When you're fighting with somebody who's double your size, it's really hard. Um, I also love fighting with the um, the stunt team because they're so skilled and they, and and they know so they really know what they're doing and and they're so swift and you, you know uh, obviously it's 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 easier to fight with somebody who's a professional. Um, yeah, but I do enjoy fighting with um, yeah, with Ali and the, I, I yeah, everyone's so different to fight with. Really, who wants to fight for with? Uh, yeah, I fought with yeah, good few people. Yeah, I, I enjoy fighting. You know, the men too. It's just they're an awful lot stronger than me. So <laughs> a few people. It means I'm a lot like more an... exhausted. What's that? It means I'm a lot more exhausted by the end of the fight because. Mm. It's 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 a lot harder to fight somebody who's a lot bigger than you, <laughs> um, especially with you know the, the the sword fights because yeah you have to put more pressure into it mm. so you don't you know get a sword across your face. <laughs> do you like working with the weapons? Yes, I do. Yeah, uh, I've I've worked a lot more with the katanas uh, this season. Uh, which are harder for me than the daggers because, well, the daggers are lighter in weight and 
you know, the katanas, you have to watch your spacing more, especially in the locations, because we did fight in some really unusual locations and some, some cramped spaces and different different spaces, so the weapons often get caught on things. Um, so that's a, a real challenge, but uh, also, you know, you need a lot of strength uh, to hold these weapons, because, you know, they, they, they get heavier because they're larger. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, they're all really different. I, my personal favorite is the dragon. Cause, <clears throat> yeah, because I like, you know, moving more. I, I find the, the katanas uh, more tr- trickier, but it's different. Yeah. 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 And as you said, they're heavier. And of course, anybody that's swung a sword around for more than two or three swings. Yes, yeah, you need it gets a lot heavy. of stamina. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. How would you describe your character's fighting style? Hmm. Sneaky or direct, sneaky and direct is a bit of a contradiction, isn't it? Um, yeah, and uh, um, lies and spidery, sharp and quick. That's her, um, yeah, I think that's how she uh, survives the mm-hmm. fights with people who are stronger than her is with speed and agility, uh, her strengths. Have you been hurt on set? Uh, I did a couple of times this season, yeah. Um, but also the climate in the climate in Ireland is a lot colder than New Orleans, where we shot season one. So you can pull muscles really easily. So you have to make sure you're warmed up, which is quite tricky when you're, you know, filming thirteen hour days for like sixty weeks. You know, you you can't obviously be warming up the entire time because you'd be um exhausted but um yeah just just making sure looking after your body and timing the warm-ups and uh yeah i I did have a i got boshed on the nose and pulled my neck and then i sprained an ankle as well so it was quite eventful this season but but we just iced them and you know uh we we have physios on set and doing the um carrying on exercising muscles and then they prepare themselves quickly Mm. And staying relaxed, keeping your muscles relaxed, yeah. So, so yeah, it it, it was fine. It was a learning experience. <laughs> you do. Listeners may not know, but you do. From what I understand, the majority of your stunts, the majority of your fight scenes. Uh, yeah, I do quite a lot. There is. Um, we have an amazing. Um, I have an amazing stunt double this season called uh, King May, who is really, really incredible. So, she does a lot of the wire work and the um triple backflips because uh, it's, I think it's more of a you know a time issue as well because there's so much going on you know we, we were, were shooting so much so to stop my shooting so I was shooting something probably six day weeks you know so if if there's no time off to keep rehearsing the backflips and all that safely so um, so she takes care of a lot of a lot of those but we, we keep the dialogue so we try, I try and do as much as I can and, and she's really supportive so she helps me out and makes sure I sure I know what I'm doing and I'm doing everything safely and <clears throat> yeah so so yeah I, I do do the majority of it but um, yeah she does some insane stuff <laughs> <laughs> amazing insane things um it's an intense show and you're playing an intense character and it, you know, just hearing you talk about shooting, that sounds intense as well. And as you're talking mm-hmm. about it, there's almost uh, a reverence coming through in your voice. Do you thrive in that kind of environment? Is that part of who you are? Um, I do. Yeah, I do. I do enjoy it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a challenge. You, you know, you have to have a lot of stamina and, um, yeah, and you know, you, you you have to know how to look after yourself because it's you know physically and uh, strenuous. Uh, you know the hours coupled with the uh, the physical side of it. Uh, I I do, yeah, I do I do enjoy it. Yeah, um, yeah, I do enjoy it quite a lot. I was just going to say I have a tougher side, which appears probably why the widow appealed to me but then I think Daniel might tease me if he hears me saying that he'll probably <laughs> call me quite a worse <laughs> so I'm a bit hesitant to claim that I'm I'm actually quite tough <laughs> I 
I think they might take the mickey out of me because they, they are tough. They, I think they think I'm a sissy. I think I'm quite tough, but I, I don't think Daniel Wynn would agree or any any of the other martial arts, or any of the Hong Kong stunt team, I don't think they would agree because they are, they're another level. <laughs> well, it's, so. it's pretty hard to get to their level. I mean, you know, Daniel Wu is an incredible yeah. martial artist. and I'm like, come on, you can do it. Don't be a sissy, you know. Like, Does he yeah, tease you yeah. often? Oh, no, not 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 Daniel, no, no. Okay. But, um, well, the stunt team, you know, they're so, they're so uh, strong and have so much stamina, you know, they, um, you know, they're, yeah. I'm an actress, you know, it's a different, <laughs> it's a different level. What's been most different about your shooting experience with Into the Badlands versus the other projects you've worked on? Um, well, the whole show, the whole experience on Badlands is much more intense because we are doing, we have two um, units at once all the time. We have the fight unit that shoots at the same time as the main drama unit. And then often, for instance, on Penny Dreadful, there were three different drama units going on at once. And so when we had several drama units going on at once, at one point we did have three drama units at once. So that was four units at once. And when you're in a lot of the scenes, that's really nonstop. So it, it is another level. But I think with these um, uh, very large scale productions like Badlands is, it's a lot larger scale than anything else I've done before. Uh, I think, I'm guessing that's the norm really. So I think they often have a lot of units and a lot of traveling and a lot of, yeah, it's, it's very, uh, you have to be very committed. I didn't think people are aware of that actually when people do, you know, especially if you are to play a leader, I just imagine what it must be like uh, playing the orphan black, black orphan black role. Uh, that, that really, I realised what a massive commitment that 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 must have been for um, the actress. Uh, what is her name? She's amazing. But um, yeah. Well, I'm I'm noticing the clock. Focus. Sorry. Yeah, I was just saying you need a lot of focus. You're no, you're noticing the clock. I'm noticing the clock, and I, I'm I don't want the press team to get mad at me for keeping you too long or anything, you know, hope that we can have you back again for season three, you know, for, for a promo then. So oh, yeah. I, I want to respect your time and oh, yeah. I appreciate you being on the show today. I appreciate you spending some time talking with me and I'm sure that all the listeners are going to be, at least they better be tuning in for the premiere on March 19th. Yeah. Great. Thank you. It was nice to talk to you. And you, thank you. Have a, a great rest of your day. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. I enjoyed my time with Miss Beecham and I felt like I got a little bit of a behind the scenes perspective on what it's like being on a martial arts television set. And as someone who isn't by really our definition, a martial artist, I think she does a great job representing the martial arts. If you've seen the character, if you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you've got a little bit of time to catch up before season two premieres. And I hope you do. It's one of the few shows that I am in front of the TV not watching it, you know, later on DVR. It's a great show. And if you're a fan of martial arts action, really, we should be supporting this show as a community just because we want it to be there. We want more stuff like this to be there, don't we? So check it out. AMC, March 19th, Into the Badlands. Don't forget to check out episode 171 with Mr. Daniel Wu, another star from the show. And if you want to check out what we offer at Whistle Kick, or check out the show notes where we've got a bunch of pictures and other promotional items for Season 2 for Into the Badlands, Whistlekick, martialartsradio.com. Thanks for listening. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day.